because people like to say New Orleans artists can't collaborate. They hate collaboration. You can yeah, never get New Orleans that. artists together. Like, oh my gosh, that's such a stupid yeah, saying. Right. And I did it every chance yeah. that I get. Yeah. And this project is just a good example. Like, what? We can collaborate all we want and it's really beautiful. Yeah. Nick, yeah, tell me where you at. I'm in Nola. Don't you miss us when you see us on your map. So we got Poppy, we got Icy Girl, and they're the co-founders of Crew the Label. And today we're about to be talking about this Christmas project that y'all been working off of, man. That I remember y'all first told me it was like two months ago when y'all mm -hmm. was like, yep. "We about to put that out." So yep. congratulations on doing that. Thank you. Know? you. And, and it released when? Yes. Yesterday. yesterday. It released yesterday. Friday. December eighth. Yep. December eighth. Friday. Yeah. So. Purpose of this interview, promoting the album, talking about the album. Pre mm -hmm. People pretty much know who y'all are. We done did interviews with y'all both individually on the platform before. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about where the album was conceptually when y'all first thought about it. What made y'all call it the way y'all called it? Why y'all selected some of the people y'all selected to be on it? And then we're going to get into the process of making it, some of the tools y'all use, and what y'all expecting to do with it after y'all, you know, since it's released now. So right. let's get started with the intro. Like, how did it even come about? Um, it came about because me and Icy, we love like seasonal shit period. Like yeah, we, we, we already seasons. have like a Halloween song. I got, we got our yeah. own Halloween songs. Like we love Thanksgiving time, holiday oh, time. we love And eating. I feel like every year we always like play with the idea of doing a Christmas, a Christmas project. Yeah. But more on some like chill, like have our friends just get in the studio. Whoever make a Christmas song, we put it together. Yeah. And I felt like this year we was like, you know what? We actually have some time to do something in October, let's, yeah. let's work on a Christmas album, you know, yeah. let's not put too much on ourselves, but let's just be a little relaxed. Not only did we have some extra time in October, we also have such an established team now with the Gentilly mm -hmm. Agency to where when we think of an idea like this, we can mm -hmm. actually, actually like execute it right yeah. instead of it just being an idea yep. in our yeah. head. Like, yeah, they made it real easy yeah. to like house all of the sessions. Yep. Um, The artist was like, at our fingertips and Raj fingertips. Yeah. So it really was like just an exercise for real. It was us mm -hmm. just having fun and just, just making music really. Yeah. yeah. And to that point, the Gentility Agency. So talk a little bit about that and y'all involvement with that. People don't really even know that y'all been working with Raj mm -hmm. lately. And a lot of people don't even know about the Gentility Agency in itself. So talk a little right. bit about that and some of the resources that he allowed y'all to have okay. as artists and to grow y'all careers. So Raj Smooth founded the, uh, the Gentility Agency. And Raj is so humble. So that's why he's like so low key, mm -hmm. you know, but he's like the greatest person in New Orleans. Founded his <laughs> own um, management creative company. He has a really big roster and then Thankfully, we signed with the Gentilly Agency earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've basically been just executing ideas back to back to back. Like, every month, yeah. something new being executed. Yeah, like, any idea that we bring to the whole team, mm -hmm. like, they they not only, like, listen and, like, you know, of course, they're going to they gonna work because they work with us and mm -hmm. they work, you know, they try to all make us some money. But, like, right. they go out their way. To make it yeah. to make it come to life the same way we would, so yeah. it make it really easy. To be yeah, honest. it makes it makes creating so much easier. Yeah, yeah. So okay, get into the Christmas album though. So y'all called it Christmas in New Orleans. Why? It's just, it just seems like it's just a blanket title. Like, what made y'all just go something so simple as you know just a Christmas in New Orleans? I really just wanted to pay homage to Louis Armstrong. Um, I don't know. It's just such a a vibe. I feel like it's classic. Mm -hmm. Like. I was like, why not? All of the uh, produ all of the people who made the beats, the producers, they're yeah. all from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. All of the artists are from New Orleans. The three executive producers, me, Icy Girl, Ryan from Smooth, New Orleans, from New Orleans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and as well, we wanted to, like most people run away from something that like could overshadow them, but we kind of wanted to fall into like yeah, mm -hmm. we didn't mind. being another Christmas in New Orleans album. We don't mm -hmm. mind being in that rotation of playing all yeah. of those Christmas in New Orleans songs. Mm -hmm. And this is our first holiday project, but we want to drop more. You feel mm -hmm. me? So we got some other names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, for sure. Though. So when it came to the selection of the people, like who's all involved with the project? Man, it started off with a big list. Yeah, I think when it came to the selection of it, we really just went through all New Orleans creatives, as in engineers, mm -hmm. um, graphic designers. That we've been wanting to work with or worked with already. And artists, yeah, yeah. That, we, that, that exact list. And mm -hmm. we was just like, you know what, just made a list of people. We all, we texted all of them and DM'd them personally, me and yeah. Icy, to see who mm -hmm. wanted to be a part of it, see who could be a part of it yeah. time-wise. Mm -hmm. 
and the songs that made it, they made it. Um, not many songs didn't make it. I don't think, no, no, I think every song made it, to be honest. I think only, like, two songs did make it, but it was really because of timing. Right. Like, yeah, not yeah. nothing Just didn't else. Get to really get because of timing. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah. It wasn't, we didn't want to make it like put a strain on nobody. Like, yeah, we didn't want to be this too pressured. It was like no pressure with yeah. everything. We hit up a lot of people. The more, majority of people we hit up didn't make it on a project, but you know, that's how it be. Yeah. But yeah. like I said, we plan to do this. Yeah, we plan more. to keep doing this. And yeah. we plan to do a deluxe. So, like, whoever want to be a part of it. Nah, yeah. y'all can be a part of it. If it's you know? heat, we run it on like. <laughs> <laughs> So, who all is on? Who's on it? Who's all on it? Um, right now, uh, artist-wise, we have I, the artist, Indies Blue, Lil Wildlife, 504 Icy Girl, 504 Corzo, and then me, Poppy H. And then we got mm -hmm. The Skit, mm -hmm. which have Spy Boy T3, Gutta Gutta, and Rise Smooth Morning yeah. Show. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, right, right. All right, okay, okay, for sure. So how does all of the artists blend together to make this project? Like, where do y'all think y'all complement each other as far as, like, sound-wise? Mm -hmm. I think every artist has such a unique voice, and mm -hmm. I think that... Is what we all have in common to make this project so beautiful and mm. will make it last forever and ever. Everyone's voice is so powerful and like got a lot of soul in it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like everybody touch a piece of all of the New Orleans culture in the Definitely. music. Like um, I feel like me and Wildlife more of a raw rapping on the mm. song. Icy Girl got a bounce song. Corzo represents the whole Spanish community in New Orleans yeah. where he yeah. did his Spanish song with Icy mm. Girl. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Indies and I, they both singing but it's got that like blues feel to it if you yeah. really listen to Indies mm. and I. like mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Like the project really so beautiful. Cool. And then we brought back the nostalgic feel of Raj on the morning show. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like I yeah. feel like it really hit all sides. All of corners New of New Orleans, culture, yeah. yeah. I see what we you're saying. We had Gutter, who is a staple OG. in New yeah. Orleans culture. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got somebody who's going to be a staple when we get old. Somebody, mm -hmm. Spy Boy T3, who are Indian. Right, like, right. I feel like everybody was well represented. And whoever ain't, please hit me up. <laughs> no, facts. Let's make project. <laughs> so, um, content-wise, like, what are y'all doing content-wise visually for it? Like, what y'all working on as far as that y'all gonna deliver? Because, you know, Christmas is a real big yeah. content thing situation. Okay, so we, thankfully, just got a GoPro. <laughs> and we've been shooting short-form content because yeah. since, um, since it's already December 9th or whatever, we don't have much time to do music videos. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to pump out short-form content. We've already done two of them. And every song will just have its mini music video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do like events as, like we usually definitely. do. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna definitely. do like a toy drive or mm -hmm. day where we sip eggnog and just chill and shit. You feel me? Like, yeah. we just gonna make fun of it, you know? Yeah, nah, right. Real talk, real talk. Now, that is crazy. And you do gotta have fun when you're doing these type of projects and whatnot. You so, do, you do. So, administratively, so this is y'all, is this y'all first time putting out a, a project that's like a collab project under y'all label? Yeah, it is. Under yeah. crew, it is. Yeah. So, let's talk about that a little administratively. How was that process because you remember when we tried to do the Lucy Grounds album that shit right. fell through because of administrative issues so y'all had some tools y'all was using jam around and stuff so talk a little bit about like actually executive producing the project instead of just being artist so for the people who don't know it's really funny that this project was inspired by the neutral grounds project mm -hmm. And we worked with Jam Around, which was inspired by the neutral grounds project <laughs> yeah. because it was such a problem the neutral grounds yeah. project just a short backstory, Cliffs was trying to put together the project and it was so hard to get so many artists and producers on the same page from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, and he just figured that he'd make an a app that would make it easier for them to input their they information for collaboration and make it less confusing for an artist. For dummies, that's how you're going to put it right now. <laughs> but um, we... We kind of always have the same problem when we work with producers and when we work with artists. It's kind of hard to, like figure out splits and when people put paper in front of you, you kind of get a little anxious. So we kind of took it as an opportunity to work with Jam Around, you feel mm -hmm. me? To actually make it a hands-on project with the artists and with, with us so that mm -hmm. it could be a learning experience for all of us and so that it could kind of just be a money maker every year, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like something fun that we put out that every year to come around, all us get our split of the money, our, our cut of the money, you feel me? Yeah. But it's funny that we worked with Jamaround for this, and Jamaround was made because of the same reason. Yes. I think it's amazing. Thank God for Jamaround, because on the administrative part, working with splits and everything, it's very intimidating. And it's kind of awkward, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody want to go to their friend and be like, how much you want for this song? Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm going to so, give you a lip. Like, yeah, I'm going to give you this 20%. Like, I don't 
know. It's a little awkward talking about splits and stuff like that. So jam around kind of yeah. made it more of yeah. check the app, girl. Especially like, like you feel me? Yeah. Like it's so <laughs> just more chill, yeah. and we can focus on the music. Yeah, it don't really feel like. Well, it's, it's not like nobody trying to get over on you when the paperwork, it's very clear. when you don't understand something, it make you feel like somebody trying to get over on you, but like, I don't know, it just make it real easy and clear. Yeah. Especially when like, like I said, we had all our peers a part of this, so mm -hmm. when you telling them that you're going to be the executive producer and you pulling all the strings, you mm -hmm. don't want it to feel like a hierarchy. With, yeah, we don't like peers. hierarchy feelings. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah. that it, it definitely helped a lot. So yes. what? So what are some other stuff y'all use administratively? So like uh, distributors or like what are some other tools y'all use to make this project come to life? Because y'all had the resources from Raj, of course, the studio and whatnot. Mm -hmm. but what are some other things that y'all would like recommend to independent artists who want to do similar type projects? I utilized lots and lots of lists and notes like on a crazy level like any given day i probably then started like six to eight notes <laughs> and it sounds crazy but for real you have to keep things organized before we hit up these people to be a part of this project we had lists of different ideas of songs you feel oh, me yeah. to make sure like we don't have just we're not just asking people to be a part of something that, yeah we brainstormed this it, you gotta brainstorm yeah, that is and there's many different ways to brainstorming but you could literally just do it for free yeah. in notes and people pass that up every day and i'm constantly telling my friends like bro just make a list like yeah. make yeah. as many lists as you could for real. yeah and y'all yeah. and y'all wanted to create Right. Yep. So yeah. We distributed. We distributed this project through Create Music. Mm -hmm. uh, Create Music is a company in Los Angeles. They based in yeah. Los Angeles. Um, we've been working with them. This is probably our third project. I think our third or fourth project. I don't project know. We've we worked with them all year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they made it simple. We yeah. just upload. They, we gave them the the, the tracks to upload. Mm -hmm. Anytime we needed to update, mm -hmm. they were there to update. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Um. They made it really simple. This project wasn't hard. Like I said, it was probably one of the most stress-free projects we've had. It was yeah. because we were able to utilize our teams in every aspect. And yep. Jamaron was kind of on mini team on the iPad. <laughs> yes. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, wow, we got all these different team members working to get this project out. And it definitely helped us a lot. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's talk a little bit about, and I, we can uh, close with this, is like specific mm -hmm. catalog style music. So y'all do think and y'all see the power of doing like music, intentional music. So a Christmas yeah. project is what most people would think of. You know, you think of Mariah Carey, you think every year she getting a yes. check or whatever, right? But let's talk about other style of uh, other different approaches to music that y'all make that can get placed elsewhere and what's some things y'all may have saw success in. So, I, we was watching a movie yesterday, mm -hmm. a Christmas movie that mm -hmm. Ludacris, they had a movie with Ludacris just dropped and oh, I think uh, Lil Rel. Yeah, I think I said. And they That's had a cute. scene where he's, he's kind of like um, the Grinch. Yeah. And they had a scene where he's playing through the radio and they just playing like song after song, a whole bunch of original Christmas songs, kind of yeah. like ours. And Dang. like people don't understand that that just that flip of your song for one second is a bag. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> like it's a real be. bag. Just how Ludacris got paid. We can get paid. You feel me? Like yeah. there's money in music without being the biggest star. And I feel like that yeah. was another angle for us making this Christmas project. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is sync worthy. We went yes. no curse words at all. Yeah. We went um all local producers and local artists to try yeah. and put them on to syncing to let yeah. them know that this is a bag that's available for us that we all missing out on. Yeah. Um and we're also going to put it in our catalog and try to sync it ourselves. Because yeah. we executive produced it, we're gonna be trying to sync the project ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me and Icy Girl are really big on trying to find ways to make money in yeah. our music without being yeah. every day yeah. streaming. You know streaming ain't really paying the bills. Right. You gotta find <laughs> multiple ways to make money as an artist. Yeah. And a lot of people skip out on syncing but it's kind of one of the easiest ways we're already making the music yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah for sure for sure so anything else y'all got in the project where i can find it just stream it you know give me some some closing remarks so that we can let them know where to find it at mm -hmm. what y'all got um i just want to say that i really appreciate everybody that was a part of the project little wildlife i all of the producers all of the artists um raj everybody that was on the skit everybody who didn't make it i wanted to just say i appreciate y'all so much and everybody who gonna make it to the next one. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I love seeing New Orleans collaborate and come together to Definitely. do something bigger than us. And I feel like it was amazing. It worked out perfect. And 
You can find it everywhere on all streaming platforms. Yes. Christmas in New Orleans. One of the biggest motivations for me when I was making this project mm -hmm. was to prove people wrong because people like to say, New Orleans artists can't collaborate. They hate collaboration. You can never <laughs> get New Orleans that. artists together. Like, oh my gosh, that's such a stupid yeah, saying. Right. And I did it every chance that I get. Yeah. And this project is just a good example. Like... But we can collaborate all we want and it's really beautiful yeah, yeah, it and this will be the first of many collaborative projects that we make mm -hmm. and I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that worked on the project behind the scenes at the mm -hmm. Gentilly Agency like Zay, Kyle, Lola, everybody really made this yeah. come to life yeah mm -hmm. we really appreciate all y'all yes fine fine 15 minutes and Jamaral right thank you Jamaral <laughs> yeah tell me where